We are in Istanbul again. In the previous video, we talked a little about what can be seen between the Hilton Bosporus Hotel and the Bosporus itself. We have also seen a mosque, a clock tower and a palace, all named Dalma Bahce. Here are some pictures of these historical buildings taken in 2013. If you are more comfortable listening in Russian, please see our larger channel where we show various interesting places, including many cities of Ukraine where we live. The link is in the upper right corner of the screen and in the description. Today I will tell you about the famous Taksim Square. Next time we will walk further south from this square. And, as I promised in the previous video, I will tell a little about the hotel. This is the Foreign Visitors View channel and my name is Tatiana Andreeva. If you go from the Hilton Bosporus Hotel to the south-southwest, you will soon see the famous Taksim Square. The name of the square comes from the water reservoir which was situated here. It can be translated as sharing or distribution. The square appeared here during the years of the Republic that was created after the collapse of the Ottoman Empire in 1918-1922 after the First World War. The theme of the Republic, Republican rule and the secular state is present here in many objects and events that took place on this site. In the center of the square is the Republic Monument, dedicated to the fifth anniversary of the formation of the Republic of Turkey in 1923. It is a multi-figure composition depicting Kemal Atatürk, the founder of the Turkish Republic, who occupies a central position of the monument and his associates. The monument symbolizes the liberating army and the establishment of the Republic. The street leading to the square from the north is called Kumhuriyet Kadesi, that is Republic Street. The street soon becomes pedestrian and gradually turns into a square. In order to remove traffic from the square, the city authorities undertook a grandiose project, which included the construction of a tunnel. Taksim Gizi Park is on the east of the square. At the end of May 2013, the square became the site of a clash between Turkish police and demonstrators who opposed the cutting down of trees in Taksim Gizi Park and to the construction of a shopping center here. The inner side of the protest was the dissatisfaction of the secular part of the society with the authoritarian Islamist government. Subsequently, protests and strikes took place across Turkey. The core issues included the freedom of the press, of expression and of assembly. However, the events of 2013 are not the only confrontation that has affected Taksim Square. At least two more important events are known. On February 16, 1969, Taksim Square and the surrounding streets turned into a battlefield between left and right-wing protesters who gathered in other parts of Istanbul and moved to the square. These events are linked to the anti-American sentiment. Protests increased after the United States 6th fleet arrived in Turkey. Let me remind you that Turkey became an ally of the United States at the end of the World War II. When the Soviet Union started its demands for military bases in the Turkish Straits, the United States supported the security of Turkey and Greece and in 1952, Turkey joined NATO. When the Truman Doctrine and the Marshall Plan were running out, 
të kishë Prime Minister Adnan Menderes scheduled a visit to Moscow in 1960 to establish alternative ties. To counteract this, offices involved in the anti-communist activities of NATO allies carried out a coup d'etat on May 27, 1960. The events of 1969 were intended to shift this balance in the opposite direction. Another event, the Taksim Square massacre or the bloody 1st of May, occurred in 1977. The 500,000 crowd of participants in the Labor Day celebrations was attacked by shooting from the roof of the Marmara Hotel. Several dozen of demonstration participants were killed. However, most casualties are believed to be caused by the panic that the action of the police created. None of the organizers or perpetrators were caught. The square is always crowded. There is a metro station here. There are several prestigious hotels and many shops on this square. The square is a popular place to visit both for the local population and tourists. Taxi Mosque is located in the western part of the square. There are thousands of mosques in Istanbul and some were built over 500 years ago. Taxi Mosque is one of the newest. Its construction began in 2017 and it was inaugurated at the end of May 2021. The three-level complex can accommodate up to 3,000 believers at a time. The plan of a mosque in Taksim Square has been in making since 1952. Taksim Square had been closely associated with republicanism and secularism. The prospect of the new mosque was one element of the Gizi Park protests in 2013. However, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan supported the idea of the mosque since becoming Istanbul's mayor in 1994. He attended the inaugural prayer on 28 May 2021. During my evening walk, the call to the evening prayer was heard from the mosque. Green spaces around the monument are carefully watered. Around the monument of the Republic, there are also rails along which the so-called nostalgic tram runs. Here passes one of the two preserved lines of the historical tram, which tourists can ride. And next time I will invite you for a walk in a southerly direction along the street parallel to the one along which the tram left. And we will also be happy to share our impressions of those less visited places of Turkey, which we explored during our extensive trip a few years earlier. Write in the comments if you are interested. Tatiana Andreeva and the Foreign Visitors View channel were with you. Subscribe and smash the like button. See you in the next city or country.